The EC's commitment to a transparent and inclusive electoral process was reaffirmed during this address, which provided important updates on the ongoing 2023 voters registration exercise. One of the central objectives of the EC is to ensure that every eligible Guinean is registered to participate in elections in the country. According to the EC, disenfranchising any eligible voter is not the intention of the commission, contrary uh, to claims by sections of the public. Let me begin by reiterating the commission's avowed commitment to ensuring that every qualified Ghanaian is registered as a voter to take part in the 2023 district level elections and the 2024 general elections. The commission is desirous of, of registering everyone who is eligible. We reiterate that it is not our intention to disenfranchise anyone. Now, to facilitate the registration process and accommodate the increasing number of registrants, the EC has taken steps to augment the number of registration kits in district offices. We wish to assure all qualified persons that we have increased the number of kits in our district offices to accommodate the large numbers at the registration centers. The Ghana card, equipped with age and citizenship data, is seen as a potent tool to prevent the registration of minors and foreigners. The current guarantor system was deemed outdated. The Ghana card shows the age and citizenship of the bearer of the card, making it easier to identify those who are minors and those who are foreigners. The Electoral Commission believes that the guarantor system has outlived its usefulness. And we are convinced that the time is right for a system that every registrant is identified on its or her own merit, rather than another person vouching for the age and nationality of that person. For citizens who have lost their voter ID cards, the EC announced that the replacement of the ID cards will commence on October 3rd. The replacement of the voter ID cards will begin on the 3rd of October in all our district offices. The fee is 10 Ghana cities. And the payment is through a short code that will be made available to the public very, very soon. Meanwhile, the Electoral Commission is indicating that it will exceed its targeted number of 700,000 persons to be registered in this exercise. We gave you a target of 52% of the 1,350,000 people who qualify. And currently we've done 667,300 or so. Almost 90% of the target we set for ourselves. So what this indicates is that we are going to exceed our target. From the headquarters of the Electoral Commission, Noble Crosby Annan.